Hello, everybody. Wow, that music started right at the right time. <laughs> this is Pen Shitty Five. Welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft Season Five. Playing with Enig Enigmatica Six. I don't know why I want to say three, six. Um, we're kind of looking at our little mountain thing we have going on here, floating mountain. Trying to check out what blocks I want to do it. I did exchange everything up there. See if I can get down here without dying a horrible death. Uh, yeah. Only broke my legs a little bit. So we got everything exchanged. Uh, at least the ceiling. No, not ceiling. Floor. I have to get the ceiling. I want to put marble on the ceiling, I think. But there's like a couple different marbles, so I gotta determine which mar marble is gonna be the best thing for us to do. There's no way that this is even close to being done. It's gonna take a lot of time. There's a lot of ugly torches that we gotta get rid of, but I think my best bet is like this with the um, the stairs on the edge, and then we'll do the glass uh, step back. And we'll just go glass all the way to the top. This is clear glass, which is, I like it. It looks good. Nice and clear. But, you guys... <laughs> you guys should be calling me an idiot. Honestly. We spent, what, a bunch of time down in that fortress trying to find some method of getting blaze rod. That was my last piece of bread. So that we could get into uh, power. Getting, collecting sugar cane. And uh, if I would have been smart, if we go into here, what we need is this dielectric paste, right? Oh look, we need blaze powder. And we need charcoal and we need clay. Or we get Coal, charcoal, clay, and a lava bucket. <laughs> I saw this, and how did I not see this? Oh, it makes me... It makes me feel dumb, honestly. Uh, let's see. Oh, we did have charcoal in there. So we need charcoal, we need clay. Uh, we need lava buckets. Just like that, we should be able to build. Look at this. Dielectric paste. We can do it again. Look at all that dielectric paste we have. Isn't it beautiful? And then if we want to make an energy cell, because that's all we wanted to begin with, right? Um, starter energy cell. Copper, iron. Copper is a little easier, actually. Uh, let's see. We need some stuff. We need some redstone. We need some copper to get smelted up, probably. Yeah, you start smelting copper. We're going to need some blocks of redstone, it looks like. Something like that. We'll do two of them. That might be enough. So we need copper here. This we need copper for, and we need these dielectric rods. Which is iron bars. Did I throw those out, or did I bring them back? Because I had a bunch of iron bars from when we went down into the... Uh, I'm not seeing them. Did I really not keep those? I think I threw them away because they were... I was running out of inventory space. What do you know? Um, no, I saw some right there. No, that's, that's not how you do that. I don't know what I was thinking there. Alright, so we got iron bars. So I think we just have to go like this. Like this, right? Okay, we get eight of them. We'll turn four of them into horizontals. We got ourselves a little bit of copper here. 
This is gonna be so easy once we uh No, I wanna do it with I wanna do it with copper. I may have to put the iron away. Can I do that again? What? How are you how are you getting iron? Didn't didn't I get rid of the iron? I'm so confused. Oh, we don't have enough copper. But now we do. There, so we got two of those. Oh, we need the capacitors. So we need four of those, or we get four of those. Ah, but look at this. We need eight if we're going to do that one. So we just need uh, eight pieces of copper, and we'll be golden, right? Well, that gives us four of them. So let's just make one right off the bat here. All right, so this is our first energy cell right here. We have no RF in it. I want to store the power that we're making. That's the big thing. We're probably going to need wire. Th this organization is killing me. Like, I don't know where anything is. Um, it's so hard to find stuff. Where are my connectors? Seriously. I, I had some. I just had some a little bit ago. I cleaned up my inventory. Because they were in my way. We'll do this. Uh, so not in... Oops. It should highlight it for it. Oh, 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 oh. Wire connectors. Okay. So if we do this, I wonder if we can connect to there. Oh, really? Um, find them. Let's uh, let's just store it right, right here. <laughs> just gotta jump a little. No big deal. Oh, look at this. We got 200 RF, I think. How come we don't have more? Uh, so the top. We want to receive. Okay, there we go. We wanted to receive it. I see. So there's like a little GUI here. So we can store power into there. So if we grab our copper and we build another one, if I can remember where we were here, and spell things correctly, we should be able to build a whole other one, right? There. So if we want to get the second one though, so you need two of them plus another dielectric casing and some more copper. Which we could actually really easily do because we have two of them. So let's, let's make two of them, right? 
And then these, we need to turn four of them into that. Is that enough to make the casing right away here? Yeah. And we're gonna actually gonna snag this guy. We're just gonna go right up to the second tier. Because these are what? Pre storing 100,000 and these store 1 million. There we go. So now we got a basic energy cell. Did it hold? No, it didn't keep the power. So the top we want in receiving mode. So I think what it does is it was receiving and extracting at the same time, which meant that it wasn't doing anything. This doesn't do me any good. And we'll try to jump up here without getting zapped. Alright, and now we should start collecting energy. Alright, perfect. So that gives us the ability to collect the energy, save it, and then we'll be able to take that cell up there and start doing stuff. We, for this power management, or not power management, inventory management, we need to look at refined storage. I keep forgetting that JEI doesn't allow you to just search for the mod. You have to use the at. So this is what we need to get into. We're probably going to go into here. Oh yeah, we did some of this stuff, didn't we? So we got dielectric casings. What do we get here? Oh, we got a wrench. Energy cell of any tier. We get a power loop box. Tiers, not tiers. Everything in power is divided into different tiers, going from starter to basic, hardened, blazing, niotic, spirited, and nitro. Basically, you just keep upgrading stuff. We'll probably get a different style of energy producer. Oh, we can actually uh, we can do that and be like, yay, we got XP. And this is dealing with the cables. And that's the energizer, and basically we get to do all that fun stuff. What did we get? Oh, it looks like we got a couple of these. We oh, we got a bunch of dielectric paste. Oh, we probably could have we probably could have turned something in and got dielectric paste. Uh, but now I have more than enough things in my inventory, and I have nowhere to put them. And we should put this barrel down because we just we need we need the storage, and we'll just throw stuff into here right now. And now you see why I am stressed about inventory, right? We, we got all of these things here we need to consolidate. We need to get up there. Look at it go. That's going to be a slow way to recharge, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, so if we go into the quest book for refined storage. Uh, let's see here. It's a uh, vast electronic storage and automatic network, storing your items in a magic computer space and importing, exporting, auto-crafting as desired. It's a rather refined method of storage, you might say. I like it. So we're going to get some slime balls and some string, which I think are going to be very necessary. We need to build the processors, and we get some iron, it looks like. And then from there, we have to build a controller and cable and all that good stuff. What are we going to need to do? So, we've got the three processors. Basic processor is silicon, redstone, iron, processor binding. Oh, this is what the slime balls are for. So, we're going to need a bunch of that. And then silicon. So, nether quartz. Looks like maybe... Yeah, it looks like s nether quartz is our best way to get silicon. So we're going to have to go back to the nether. Lovely. And then these guys are just, you use gold instead of iron. Same setup. And these are probably diamond, right? Oh, look at that. Diamond, I called it. We're going to need slime balls, and we're going to need... Uh, we're going to need nether quartz. 
And I don't think I brought back much nether quartz from the nether. I think I brought back a little bit, but... I mean, it's somewhere here, right? Oh, it might be in this chest, because uh, this is a bunch of nether stuff in here. Or no, this is not the nether stuff. This is from the dungeon. Hey, we got four nether quartz. That's not enough. All right, uh, I gotta grab some food. Food is another problem. Although I think I have apples here somewhere. Right, right, right. Oh, there's some apples. All right, I'm gonna go get some resources and see if we can get in started in. Uh, I'll put these in here so I don't lose them. Probably put the exchanging gadget in there. Hey, look, we got lead chunks too. Uh, I'm gonna go to the Nether and see if I can get some Nether quartz, and preferably not die. And then we can try to get this refined storage stuff going. So I'll be back. Yeah, I started a little makeshift farm already. Um, I've got down by the water. I have uh, industrial hemp going because we're gonna need some of that. Um, I have a feeling we're gonna need lots of slime balls and lots of string and uh, we're gonna see how far we can get with some of this stuff so we need this processor binder so we have enough to make two sets um, I do have this this is the purpose of the hemp here oh you know what that's that's enough to make the other two sets here perfect uh, while we're at this let me just go into the refined storage stuff here so that make sure we do stuff in, a, in order basically uh, so diamond processors I'm gonna make four of those because I only I wanted to use about half of my diamonds uh, these yeah we'll make the seven that we have and then the basic ones I make 21 of them. What am I short on? Oh, the binder. We'll do it like that. And let's see here. I've got charcoal being made here. So we need lots and lots of charcoal for. There we go. Uh, for a whole bunch of stuff. So, I mean, this guy over here is making charcoal. This is making charcoal. Uh, I had to set up a couple of these metallurgic infusers so I could make some of the uh, mechanism stuff because I built a little bigger tank to keep the creosote oil at bay if possible. I have a second energy cell that I made. So basically this one gets filled up by the wind, or the, not the windmill, the water wheel. And then this one I can move over here and use on machines. And then when I need to fill this back up, I just stick it underneath there, it refills and then it just keeps going. I felt like that was a better use of our our time basically. So that's four of those. They're like, oh, task complete. No, it's only part of it. If this is quartz infused, doesn't tell me. If that's quartz infused, I'm gonna be so happy. Um, because <laughs> I need, I, I'm running out of iron here. Uh, once these are done, I'm going to have to process some more iron. I can't wait to get automation going. Okay, I'll let this thing charge up. Oh, come on. This lance kicks butt, but you got to let it charge. See, look at... Ow! Somebody hit me. I'll take the XP. Um, XP is something we definitely need as we go here. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for things to to smelt here. So we'll do this last one here. We'll get the iron ones up in there. We'll get one of those so we can get our reward. And if it's quartz, I'll be happy. Let's find out. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna claim it. So now they want us to make a controller and some cable. 
Oh, yeah, it was quartz enriched iron. Sweet. That makes our life so much easier here. The recipe is too large to craft. Oh, I thought I was still in here. So what are we missing? We're missing a machine casing. Uh, we need andesite. Leave one in there so it keeps processing. Or it keeps being put into there. Oh, no, no, no. This guy. We're going to need probably three of those, so we definitely need more than that. And now we don't have quartz enriched iron. Ah, but we have quartz and we have iron on us. We'll just make all of them. Alright, we'll make one controller. Uh, we'll clear that. Cables. We'll make cables. Just for the heck of it, let's put our processor down, or our controller down. So this guy's going to start draining very slowly, I think. Or no, actually, uh, refined storage works by um, operation. So it only loses energy per operation. So it actually makes it easy for us then. Uh, let's get some more cables, even though we don't need them. Now they want us to make a disk drive and a 1K storage. Well, luckily, that is exactly... Wait, they said a disk drive, not a manipulator. Disk drive. So we have everything except for... Do we just need a regular chest? I think so. So there's a disk drive, and then a 1K storage disk. We're going to need some more quartz enriched iron. So we need some more iron, which I don't think we have, because we used it all for this, for these processors. Of course, we have to let those finish smelting up. Now the reason I'm growing wheat is if we need slime balls, there is a way for us to get slime balls off of wheat. But we need some more infrastructure set up before we can do that. So it's kind of a, we need this, but we need this, but we need this. So we gotta do this, and oh, it's just, it's just crazy. We also should put some more iron in here, because we're gonna need some more steel. Oh man, once we get things rolling here, like it, it's gonna be so much easier. And I'm just going to set up the refined storage quickly here, um, just so we can utilize it. Alright, there's the processors. We've got this iron ore that we might as well process up. We also need to get, like, multiplication, duplication. Oh, I wasn't supposed to break that. I'm supposed to right-click it, then you don't have to replant. Five wheat, which will get us a couple slime balls if we need it. So I think we need eight iron to make this work. Oh no, we only need f one set, so we only need four. Or three, actually. Because it takes... It's uh, three iron and one nether quartz. This way? Yeah, it's... Of course, it is directional. Okay, so we need this core. So we need one of these. And we'll make the disk drive. We're going to put the disk drive down. We're going to put the disk in it. So now we have the ability to store stuff in here. But not yet. What did we get? A couple more disk drives? So now they want us to get it, make a grid. Which is good because then I want to make a crafting grid. I think we got a couple more drives. Oh no, those storage housings. Darn it. <laughs> what else did we get? Oh, we got an exporter? 
Oh, that's nice. So we just need the storage parts here. I want to put more drives in there just so we have them. Oh, no. We gotta go here. We'll just make two of those. And unfortunately now it's like I don't have anywhere for things to go. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that's right. We gotta go. We gotta do this. We gotta put the housings with these and we get two drives. And now it's beautiful. All right, uh, we have too much stuff in our inventory. I don't need the cables right now. Uh, we got to make a grid. So what does it take to make a grid? We need a regular grid. This guy. So we're gonna need some. Oh, we're gonna need construction core. Okay, so it's a basic processor and a glowstone. That's not bad. And the destruction is a basic processor. Well, luckily for me, I grabbed some glowstone, and I got quartz on me, so we just got to grab two of those guys. Make one of those. Make one of these. Uh, we need... Or no, we need um, two of the gold ones, right? I don't know if we have enough here. So if we go grid, we need... No, we need we need a little more quartz iron, of course. It's a never-ending cycle, isn't it? Now we should have plenty. Alright, so we need one of these guys. So we made the grid. Uh, we should probably do this so that we can have access to the crafting grid, which is the next thing I want to make. So I need a one of these guys. And we also need a crafting table. We got it, we got it. Yes. Crafting grid accessible. So we put this here. And now we have our inventory. We have our crafting grid. We have a refined storage, basically. Now I gotta remember which way is which. So you got um, an importer has a destruction, and an exporter has a construction. So I'm assuming an exporter hmm. Should we test this here? Oh, no, I don't want it to go down. I want it to go. This is not working as intended. No, nope, that's still facing the wrong way. Uh, let's grab... Let's just grab this right now. I know I'm not supposed to use a pick for that, but... It'll be fine. So if I put this down here, and I put the exporter here, is it pulling? No, because that's for going out into there. Yep. So we need an importer, and then I can start uh, putting everything into there. So we need a cable, uh, one of those, and we need a destruction one, which is another quartz. So one of those, one of those. We have cables on us. There we go, we got importing and exporting. We just got another quest. So now if I do this, there we go, she's starting to pull out. So everything's gonna go into here. Oh, beautiful. 
So this entire mess we have here is going to be fixed and you can see it's slowly going down in power. So at some point this will run out. We'll just swap it over to here, fill it up, put it back in. We've got temporary storage. Perfect. Uh, let's get our... We earned this quest, which is some sort of loot. And this one is some sort of loot. So what did we get? We got some more storage housings. We had an exporter. Um, I don't see anything else spectacular, but we do have storage housings. So we've got room for 3k worth of stuff. I will probably make some more 1k drives for now. Well, I mean, it's really easy when you just got everything you need for it. And we've got 5k worth of storage, and then these we can just keep upgrading. So if we want to go to a 4k, we can take um, oh, I think what we do is we separate them out. We take the 1k storage out of the drive. Like the component, then we craft it into a 4k. So what we would probably do is build a 4k and then take these out, dump them in, and, and I mean we'll get to that eventually. But with that... Uh, oh, I broke my chest plate. I don't have a shirt on anymore. <laughs> well, that makes me happy. We've got ourselves a refined storage working. So I'm going to clear all this inventory, get everything put together, and uh, we'll see what we're going to do next. I haven't decided what we're going to do next. We need to uh, we need to start moving stuff up there. We need to finish building that. But getting this base all together, maybe we'll do like one more episode of that, and then uh, we gotta do some exploring, and we gotta get this stuff moved up there. Like we need to get all of. I don't want to be using this as our our base anymore. I want to go up there and start using it. So we're gonna have to start building farms, and we're gonna have to get everything situated. So we'll see how things go. But with that, guys, thank you all for watching. Until next time, as always, take it easy.